All right, we are back. Kieran Rice, Wing Chun University, and we got some outtakes that I won't show. <laughs> so this is team three. So we got an interesting subject today. It's how to deal with a hook punch. You know, the infamous hook punch. How do you stop it? But I want to do something different today. I want to give you guys some options to choose from, kind of like your choose your own adventure. <laughs> so what do we have here? Um, Think of it, how does Wing Chun deal with a hook punch? So I'm going to give you several options and you decide for yourself which option you're going to do. So, for example, Robert's the mean North Korean guy who's going to attack and attack South Korea or Philippines. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go for a hook punch, okay? So yeah, uh, go, go with this side. Right? So, you see a hook punch. Look at my distance first. He's going for a hook punch and right here, I do a double, a double block. Okay, double block. So that's your first choice, okay? A hook punch, he's here, he hooks, piece of crap, double block. Okay, so um, you know, think that over. Would you pick number one? Number two, he does a hook punch, he does that hook punch again, and I go punch like this. Okay, you see that? Let's try again. There he is, hook punch, straight, straight down. Okay, not bad. The next one, he goes for a hook punch, and I do a kick. Okay, front kick. You know, a quick snap kick, right? So he hook punch. Number three, kick. And then finally, he does a hook punch, I punch this way. All right, one more time. Number four option, hook punch, punch this way. So, you're thinking to yourself, what should I choose? What should I do in this situation? Which one stays with Wing Chun philosophy? So I'm going to give you a couple seconds and you decide which one you think. And see, this is the thing. The detail of this is the stuff we cover in the uh, Kieran Rise Wing Chun University. If, you've ever, if you haven't joined it yet, all the information is on below to sign up for it. And sign up fast. First 50, get in for only 25 and you also get a book. All right, so try to get in as soon as possible, and hopefully that is enough time for you to decide. So, if you pick number one, you know, there's different versions of this. He does the hook, and I do a double block. You see other styles do this, not just Wing Chun also. Or you might see a variation where he does this, and I do Tan and Punch, like this, okay? Let's just say, it basically is the same idea here. So wait, let's understand, what is Wing Chun philosophy? How do I actually deal with it? Well, if I do, if he hooks, okay, and I block it like this, what's the rule of thumb in Wing Chun? What do we always attack? Do we attack the hand or do we attack the center? Okay, because you could say it's Wing Chun, but if you go for this, that is a phrase called chasing hands. And guess what? You can say it's Wing Chun, maybe you could call it bad Wing Chun. <laughs> but I'm not the one to say it. Robert would probably say it. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to say it's not at a university level. It's more of like a, this is what I learned watching Yip Man 3 or 2 or 1. Okay? So just think about that. Could it work? Yeah. You know what? That, I, I give you this. It could work. If you're like 270 and really <laughs> built in shape. Right? But technically, just from the principle alone, am I attacking his center or am I attacking his hand? And if you're attacking his hand, you're chasing hands, and you don't know what you're doing. Okay. The second one we picked. Maybe you picked second. The second one looks good. He, he goes like this, and what did I do? Did I do this side or this side? I did this side, right? Maybe this side. I can't remember. I'm going straight down the center. I can even do like this. He does a hook punch again. Boom. Straight like this. Okay. So now you're being like, okay, number two. Straight down the line. Straight down the line, right? That should be my choice. Number two. You pick two, give yourself a good hand. But that's wrong. Now, why is that wrong? Well, it's wrong for a reason, and we'll go into that while I'm going to give you the wrong one. So, but for now, just remember, enjoy this moment. Number two is also wrong. All right, number three. Okay, you remember the demo boost he does where he's like, he does that quick snap kick? Well, how the hell are you going to move in? So number three, he does a hook punch, and boom, I, I do a snap kick. In theory, it could work. In theory, communism works. In theory, I should be thinner. <laughs> All right? 
Why does it work? Look at the distance. Okay, in this distance here, if you, if he moves in before you do, and you try to kick at this range, you're gonna eat it. Rule of thumbs, outside of kicking range, you're safe. Once he's in kicking range, he, and he initiates it, you're in trouble, all right? That's how you deal with a kick. You don't do like blocks and stuff like that. I go into the range, by the time he lifts his foot up, he's eating it. Okay, so that front kick looks fast as heck, but if he's already within kick range, and he tries to do that, he'll, he'll be jammed in. All right, so it, it follows the principle, going down straight down the center line, but the distance, the distance, it breaks that principle rule. You'll eat that first. Finally, the fourth one, okay? He, he goes for hook and I do this. I go for a center line punch. Now look, I'm not even blocking his punch. I just have my guard here and I'm going for this. So you're asking yourself, how is this different from number two and number four? Think of it this way, okay. If Robert's holding this target like this, this target is straight. So if I go down the center line, boom, I'm hitting the target perfectly straight. Now, number two, he turned to apply it. So he's turning like this. See how the target is here? So I'm exaggerating more, he's turning like this. He's turning for the hook, but I'm punching down the line like this. So guess what? I'm not actually aimed at the target. I may be aimed down the center line, but I'm grazing off the target. Does that make sense? Right, in other words, I'm here. See how I don't per perfectly connect? He's, he's, he's slightly turned this way, I'm this way, even though I'm going down the center line, I'm not gonna have a good shot. That shot entirely is still gonna get through. Finally, the other one, the number four, is when I turn. When he turned, guess what? I turned too, and I, put my, I aimed exactly into the target. Okay, why am I not worried about that punch? I'm not worried about the punch for one simple reason. Because if you invest more into the block, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to block him or are you trying to take care of him? Again, Wing Chun principle, how well do you know it? Do I chase the hand or do I deal with the source? I always go for the kill of the source. Okay, so look how strong, he's going for the momentum of the hook here. You're thinking, oh no, look, if I have all my power here, by the time he ends up turning and punching, boom, I'm killing and destroying the center of gravity. This is just a guard, the shield will be here to protect myself, right? But if I destroy the center of gravity, that attack won't go through. All right, anyway, this is just some of the subject that we can cover more in depth. So check it out, any information that you need is below. Hopefully you join, later.